Hi, I'm Rebecca. I work at Siemens Energy and I'm a business administration apprentice. When I was at school, we used to build robots and do lots of experiments. STEM really got me involved and that's how I got my job at Siemens Energy. I was really interested in stuff like that. And here at Siemens, we actually build ROVs, which are like little robots. They're remote operated vehicles. So STEM really got me interested in the sort of job that I do today. STEM can get you involved in so many different jobs in the future as well. You could work in space, you could even work under the sea, you could even go back in time and look at fossils and look at dinosaurs. There's so much that you can do that involves STEM. Here at Siemens, I've got to go through all of the stages and processes that we go to to build our connectors that go all the way under the water and they help us with oil and gas, so for your cars and mobile phones. At Siemens, we have a big department where all of our parts come in, they get checked and then they get kitted. Then we get some fitters who will terminate these and then they have to be tested to make sure they can go to the depths that we need underwater and they go all the way to dispatch where they put them in massive boxes and wrap them up to protect them and they'll go on the big trucks and get taken to wherever they need. Sometimes they'll even go on aeroplanes and get taken to different countries. STEM is in absolutely every single process that we do which is why it's really important Hi, I'm Poppy. I'm a business administration apprentice here at Siemens Energy. So currently I'm in the procurement department and we buy all the different parts that go into making our products and help everything downstairs run smoothly. During my apprenticeship I've been lucky enough to see all the different departments upstairs. Some of these include bids, delivery and MPD. In bids we create quotes for our products and our customers then buy these. In the delivery department they help all of our products get to where they need to be which is really important. In product development, we look at improving our current product, looking into the future of new ideas. One of the new ideas we've been looking at is renewable energy with offshore wind. Using renewable energy is really exciting because it's so many new opportunities for the world. When I used to do STEM events at school, I thought it was so much fun and I thought there's no way I can involve this in my job, but I can. Every single day is so exciting by using STEM and I'm so lucky to be able to share events like this and do experiments to show you guys like the ones you're about to see. Becca's battery bubbles. Grab a cup and poke the pins through the bottom of the cup. Next, we're going to fill that cup up with water. Next, grab that salt and pour it in. Don't drink it though, don't be so silly. Give it a mix instead. Then we're going to grab a battery, put it on the bottom of the pins and buzz, 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 look at them bubbles go. Wow, bubblicious. Hey you, stop eating those marshmallows. I've got an idea. Let's try Poppy's Mega Marshmallows. First, you need to get your things together. You're gonna to start by putting your marshmallows into a lovely clean glass bottle. It's okay if you spill some, just remember the two second rule. Then, you can put the stopper in the glass bottle and get your pump to pump all that air out and create a lovely vacuum. When you do this, the marshmallows are gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now watch. <gasps> what happened to my marshmallows? Jess's magma meltdown. Hey you, yeah you, off that phone. We've got an experiment to do. Lemon juice, let's see what we can do with this. Pour some lemon juice into the cup. Next, we're gonna put some red food coloring in, just for a little bit of extra. Not too much though, we don't want it to overflow and go everywhere. Then we're going to grab some bicarbonate of soda, a connector, I'm going to reject you, you loony. Give me a spoonie. Let's add this bicarb in and see what's going to happen. Don't put too much in though. We don't want an explosion. Oh no. Oh no, it's too much. Run! It's going to blow. 